good blessed uh, Monday afternoon, uh, September the 18th, 2023. It's about 1.15 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessing of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. I still greet you that same universal greetings. It doesn't matter whether you like me, anything that I post on my YouTube or my social internet, anything I say or do, you don't have to like it. I don't put it up to have you to like or dislike. All I try to do is make people aware. To be aware is to be alive. And I want y'all to take a look. I was live in Charles, I mean Sykes in Missouri about 10 o'clock this morning today and a car accident happened uh, right by in between McDonald's in Sykes in Missouri and the China Buffet. That's the name of it, I believe, ain't it? The China Buffet uh, over there by Walmart. Uh, and I recognize both of the parties. I knew one of them, but I seen the other ones before but i want you to take a real good look at this here you got about maybe uh 28 or 30 something seconds worth of video one of them shows the accident over again but i want you to pay close attention reason why i say place close attention because i have e-license here in the state of missouri them is considered chauffeur's license in, in Chicago, Illinois, I had chauffeur's license. I drove the ambulance. On the ambulance, we have devices inside of the ambulance letting you know if you are pulling off too fast, you braking too fast, or if you're turning too fast, or you take off too fast. I don't know if I said that. Uh, it's, it's called, uh, hey, hey now, it's called safe fail, safety fail, fail. In other words, it's a safety fail test to let you know at the end of the day if you was driving for the people out on uh, the street and yourself. But when you look at this here, the police told me that the guy that actually got hit won't get a ticket, but the only thing he'll get to, uh, 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 he'll be cited for without a ticket is fail to yield. Now, if you coming from across the street, I'm coming from McDonald's, I'm at the stop sign, then I get to my driveway, you see this here? You don't just shoot up in there. You pause a little bit or you take your time to come up the little hump. And when you look at it, that's what that particular car was doing. And I'm gonna let y'all, uh, as viewers, y'all, decide, not decide, but y'all say who y'all think might have been in fault. But one thing about when you're driving, and I can't tell nobody how to drive. One thing when you're driving, you have to drive for both people. You have to stay focused. But I'm going to leave with this here. Thank God that nobody didn't have to go leave in the ambulance. Nobody didn't seem to be uh, hurt. Hey, hey now. Nobody didn't seem to be hurt at the time, but this could have been a fatal accident. This may be a wake-up call for somebody. Peace be still.